award-winning motion picture producer, Samuel L. Bronkowitz. I have spent a lifetime in the motion picture industry. Now, after 50 years in Hollywood, I have finally produced what I feel is the finest motion picture ever made. I have called it the Kentucky Fried Movie. The Kentucky Fried Movie heralds the return to traditional values. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. It is a film of heartfelt passion, a great love story. Oh, take me to the drive and prove you love me. It explores the subtle nuances of interpersonal relationships. Of course, there are occasional moments of comic relief. <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Movie is a film that demands the greatest performances from the finest actors of the cinema. Hey, look, Wally. Wally. I tell you, this building is unsafe. Cities and flames, the National Guard is powerless to deal with the situation. Governor, what are we going to do? An anticipated 10% price hike across the board on petroleum products. Ah! I invite every man, woman, and child to share with me the joy and warmth of the Kentucky Fried Movie. It will knock your socks off. Stand by for the most extraordinary chain of events ever swept up into high adventure. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there for the baggage loader. Airplane. Airplane is drama. Uh, this is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209 or a little girl named Lisa Davis en route to Minneapolis. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position and that a continuous watch is kept on her IV. Airplane is action. Airplane is romance. I love you, Elaine. I love you. Airplane is music. There is only one river. There is only one sea. Airplane is dancing. Never has the screen been so big. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. Peter Graves. You ever seen a grown man naked? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. My name is Roger Murdoch. I'm an airline pilot. Leslie Nielsen. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Lloyd Bridges. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I can make a cap. Or a brooch. Or a pterodactyl. Could you um... Robert Stack. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. Julie Haggerty. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? Yes! Can you fly this plane and land it? Robert Hayes. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Come down. Get a hold of yourself. Please, please, let me handle this. I, I, I gotta get out of here. Calm down. Now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this guy. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't be one of the 
Mayday! All right, now everybody, get in crash positions. <gasps> the most incredible adventure the screen has ever created. He's coming right at us! The big news is... Airplane. This holiday season, let Paramount Pictures take you for the ride of your life with Airplane 2, the sequel. Get your ticket for the funniest movie of the year, Airplane 2, the sequel. I got smoking, non-smoking, first class, coach, economy, by the aisle, by the window. Airplane 2, the sequel, reunites old friends. Ted, I have the strangest feeling we've been through this exact same thing before. Except this time, I know exactly what I'm doing, Elaine. Well, my goodness, Scraps is a boy dog, isn't he? The airplane 2 gives you more drama. We've been thrown off course just a tad. In space terms, that's about half a million miles. The bumps you feel are asteroids smashing into the hull of the ship. We're also out of coffee. <laughs> More action. Is that your puppy, son? Yeah, his name's Scraps, and he's going to the moon with us. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No dogs are allowed on the shuttle. I'm afraid Scraps will have to be shot. And more romance. Sir, you should really put that case in the compartment above your head. I'll, I'll keep it with me. Well, I can help you if you can't get it up. The word is out. Now, what kind of traveler's checks were they? Oh, they were American... Excess. Oh. I'm afraid you're screwed. Don't go. Oh, boy. See Airplane 2, the sequel, because it will grow hair on bald men, make fat ladies thin, let fish breathe out of water, make blind men see, give hope to the depressed and the downtrodden, let the sun shine on a cloudy day, remove warts, help convicts go straight, clear up bad skin, turn an upside-down cake right side up. And by the way, you may now remove your 3D glasses and immediately return them to the attendant in the lobby. We hope your use of these glasses has enhanced your enjoyment of scenes from Airplane 2, the sequel. The funniest comedy of the year. Airplane 2, the sequel. Steve Martin, the funniest comedian who ever lived, is Rigby Reardon in Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Oof. No criminal is too tough for him. No pain is too great. No joke, too disgusting, when Steve Martin finds out why dead men don't wear blood! <laughs> Let it be, you! I'll buy two tickets. Starts Friday at a theater near you. A wop ba ba loo bam a lop bam boo To the fruity, oh Rudy To the fruity, oh Rudy To the fruity, oh Rudy A wop ba ba loo bam a lop bam boo Got a girl named Sue She knows just what to do Got a girl named Sue She knows just what to do Look, I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a girl he met in a restaurant who then turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist, only to lose her to a childhood lover who she'd last seen on a deserted island and who turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. I know. It It all sounds like some bad movie. Got a girl named Daisy. She almost drove me crazy. Got a girl named Daisy. She almost drove me crazy. She brought me to the east. She brought me to the west. But she's the girl that I love best. So to the fruity.
Never has a film moved so many and touched so deeply. United Artists is proud to present I Am Going to Get You Sucker, a captivating story. Yo, baby, hold it. That ain't it. It's I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Yes. And it's the story of the brother's fight. Yes. Against Mr. Big. Yes, well. Let's get that sucker. Yes. It's about action. Bravery. I'm a soldier, man. I've been trained for combat. Go ahead, Romance. 12 inches. And danger. If y'all step on my bunny, I'll kill both of you. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Let's get that sucker. It's the good guys against the bad guys. Oh, how come their guns are so much bigger than ours? It's a phallic thing, I don't know. Good girls against the bad guys. You must got the devil in you. No. <laughs> And it's bad guys against the bad guys. Now, you boys can leave either through the window or the stairs. We're going to take the stairs. Yeah, we'll take the stairs. I'm going to get you, sucker. You know what I mean, brother? <laughs> well, actually, I don't. You know, I didn't grow up around blacks. Now, I grew up in the suburbs. My dad was a lawyer, my mom was a doctor, and all my friends were white. Chump. <laughs> I'm going to get you, sucker. <laughs> No. It's got passion, pumps, rhythm, and soul. Preach, brother! Who are these guys? It's my theme music. Every good hero should have some. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Don't say that. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Even if you can't say it, you got to see it. I got you, sucker. Somewhere in the Mediterranean, on this naval aircraft carrier, these men have been selected to write a page in military history. They are the best the Navy and Air Force have to offer. They've been brought together to form an elite squad of fighter pilots. Their mission, one of national security and international concern. These are the fearless pilots. Seems no matter what I do, I end up hurting someone. The men who command them. Pudding? No, thank you, sir. I'll do my best. And the women who love them. Him stay. Charlie Sheen. Never wanted to be a horse so much in my life. Lloyd Bridges. <laughs> Call them the best of the best. Call them... Buddies! Hot Shots. The mother of all movies. Oh, God, I love this country. by the rules. All right, hold it over. You have the right to remain silent. Next. You waive that right, anything you say. Next. Lola Kane. A woman who plays by her own rules. What are they looking at? A lot of them have tried that seat before. You're the first one that's lasted this long. Well, I feel honored. Don't. It's broken. Together, oh, this is so different. They're going to ignite an animal passion I'm flipping. that will lead to the deadliest game of all. You know, I'm married to a, a wonderful woman. What is it? It's sort of like a cat. It's not enough like a cat, Ned. Did you ever consider that maybe you don't know women as well as you think you do? MGM presents Armando Sante. You stay away from my wife. My life and my skunk! No! Cheryl and Fenn. Oh, Are you all right? Kate Nelligan. And Sean Young. You tell me who she is, her right, She's okay. my sister! Your wife! She's your wife and my sister. 
in a movie where one night of love can be fatal. Oh. Fatal instinct. Yeah, you guys watch your step. There's a lot of blood in here. Whoa. It's a killer comedy. <laughs> Directed by Carl Reiner. Opening soon. What's wrong? Nothing. Sorry. National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon One. From out of the night comes two men with enough courage, <laughs> enough brains. What you got, Irv? Dandruff, seborrhea, maybe just dry, itchy scale. Have you tried this? I use it. Head and shoulders? Enough bullets. I know what you're thinking, punk. Did he fire 173 times or 174? To get the job done. Hey, Scotty! Can you get this machine to work? I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. New Line Cinema presents... <laughs> the cop movie to end all cop movies. Give me a name. Weren't your parents supposed to do that? Hey, hey, Sarge. It's tingling. That means it's working. Do you sleep in the nude? Only when I'm naked. They know never to screw with me. Wilderness girls. Just a big checkout. Come on, level with me. It's not bad. You'll be fine. You'll be back on your feet in no time. National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon One. So, this is Mr. Screw with your brain, eat your spleen, wear your flesh as a hairnet leecher, huh? Ah. Look who's Mr. Scaredy Pants now. Ah. I just gotta ask. What does human flesh taste like? Chicken. See it before they make the sequel. Be a rapper. But nothing seemed to work. Then I got a new idea. Let's turn ourselves into gangsta rappers. Are you aware that your band might be arrested for indecency tonight? Cell Block Pro is not afraid to go to jail. Cell Block Pro is from jail. It would only be like sending them home. And under no circumstances are you to perform Sweat at My God, I just love that I don't give a damn hip hop attitude. It's so real. You brothers have created something so nasty. You had the concert, you died. Now, CB4 is one of the hottest hip hop groups to come on the scene in a very, very long time. Straight out of low cash, a crazy young brother named Gusto. I'm MC Gusto, but in prison I'm known as 97-KY. CB4 is misogynistic, and I don't think they like women. Elemental P-14. This is not just a movie about rap music. It's about much, much more. And the world's most notorious self so, Fellas, what are you doing? We're filming. Hey, come through for Come on, come back. That's mine. Dash 7-14 to the third power. I thought I was hardcore, man. You ain't tough. There are some real kids out there who are gonna kick your narrow Any person who defile America's pastime by wearing a baseball cap backwards, well, that's an evil that speaks for itself. Tonight, CB4 is going to pay. Straight out of low cap. The crazy one. Naked Mike. It's my first drive-by. CB4. Featuring new music from Dead Mike. Oh, I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all. I'm blicky black, blacker than black, black. 
black, I'm black and in black, yo, because I'm black and I'm back. And I can dance and wacky my deep. pants and in your face. Yeah, my rapping's a disgrace, but I can dance. CB4, starring Chris Rock, Alan Payne, Bill Hartman, and Chris Elliott. She replaced me as a role model in my son's eyes. Better meet in Daryl Gates. CB4, for four. What you waiting for, punk? Invitation? Yeah. One man against three thousand. Is he a madman? I guess he figures the odds are in his favor. Sheen. Charlie. Mr. President, the third mission to rescue the hostages has failed. Really? Cookie? What could be worse than a psychopathic serial killer? With an overactive appetite for destruction? Introducing Special Agent Jody Foster. Jody Foster? May I be frank? I thought you were Joe. He's FBI. 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 Morning, George. Dawn of the Dead, is it? <laughs> Where's the president? He's right here. I only see her husband. Smoking a cigar in a non smoking restaurant is a federal offense. You'll pay for this. He's a good guy with some bad habits. And a sixth sense for sniffing out the criminally offensive. Thank you, smelly thing. Nothing is safe. Can't we all just get along? Nothing is sacred. What's he blowing so hard for? You know he doesn't inhale. Nothing makes sense. I'm sorry, boss. I couldn't understand you with your cigar in your mouth there. Oh, crazy. Murder. Cabin Fever Entertainment is proud to present a killer comedy with cutting edge commentary and stabbing satire. Dallas was never like this. Hold on to your hernias for a spoof of epic proportions. It's the Silence of the Hams. The story of the Cortino crime family began on the streets of old New York. Hi, Anthony. How's my favorite florist? This is for you. When a simple florist... You know, your papa never paid me what he owes. ...discovered his destiny. Run! 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 From these humble beginnings, he rose to become the head... Ah! ...of a mafia empire. Anthony, they're criminals. I'm not my father, Diane, just as you're not your father. <laughs> we were our fathers. What we did last night would only be legal in Arkansas. Until one day, his past caught up with him. Say hello to my little friend. How bad is it? You lost a lot of blood, but we found most of it. Uh oh. A while ago, I was shot 47 times. Really got me thinking. How lucky Touchstone Pictures invites you into a dangerous world of ruthless men. Boogie, boogie, boogie. The murderers. Criminals are people too, Diane. If you prick a murderer, does he not leave a blood trail all the way back to his Rockingham estate? Powerful women. <laughs> Torrid romance. You don't own me, Anthony. That's why we don't have nice things, Pepper. Get out of my life! and a crime wave that's taking the nation by storm. El Nino. This summer, Woo! behold the underbelly <laughs> of the underworld. Jane Austen's 
Mafia. What's your name? Diane. Like me. I named him after his mother. I'm a mother? After a lifetime heading up, the nation's biggest crime family. We need your protection, Don Calzone. <laughs> Don Calzone is finally ready to retire. <laughs> Come on, speak up. <laughs> now that's better. But his hand-picked successor <laughs> is no longer available. Oh, number one son. Now it's all up to Giuseppe Calzone. But you can call me Guppy. Guppy? Guppy. Guppy. Yes, How long have you been out of the water? I'm going to kiss you, Elaine. He's a playboy. Don't you ever not? A cowboy. <laughs> a fashion statement. I just got an idea. He must learn to be ruthless. Don't just give it a light tug. You've got to really pull. And get up to speed fast. Put away the piece before you break a nail. Before the other families get him. Hey, let's put some life in the party. Don't kill him. Just make him wish he was dead. Sterling Home Entertainment invites you. Give everything you have and put in this bag or I'm going to give you a bullet sandwich. To experience the world of disorganized crime. The Godson.